Hello everyone, my name is Steven, and I want to tell you a ridiculous story. I have a best friend named David. We like to play tricks on each other. Sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's weak, and sometimes we even cross all the borders of humor. It is also not uncommon for us to perform various types of challenges. By the way, we take all this seriously, and you must do the task no matter how, and I will tell you how because of one task. I almost got kicked out of school, and I even spent one night in prison, and now everything is in order. It was David's turn to come up with a task for me. Everything was as usual. While I was waiting, I was already planning my task for him. Well, we met him early in the morning at 10 o'clock on the basketball court in the schoolyard. He was in a happy mood and had a sly look in his eyes. In general, the task was that I just didn't talk for 24 hours. That is, I won't be able to utter a single word or even the slightest sound until the next morning. It seems that this day I was not supposed to have any serious event or conversation. This task seemed to me quite harmless, and I could have easily completed it. And now the countdown has started. At first, everything was easy and simple, but even I didn't have to work too hard. I walked by myself and I was silent, but soon I became bored, and I could not communicate with anyone. I wanted to share my news, and that's when I played football, the ball accidentally hit the car of the director. Honestly, I didn't kick it. We were all called to the office. He was furious. It was terrifying. The director asked everyone who did it. No one confessed, and everyone started making excuses. At one point, he noticed that I was just silent and looked at me suspiciously. I guess I looked more like the responsible one than anyone else. Then he said that I was being suspended from school for a week as a punishment and would have to call my parents to school tomorrow. It was a shame because it wasn't my fault, but I couldn't explain myself. I just had to agree and leave. David's assignment was beginning to strain me. I thought that this would be the end of all the trouble, but this was not the case. Walking home after school, I saw a woman in front of me drop her purse. I ran up and picked it up and was about to take it to the woman when a policeman grabbed my arm. He probably thought I stole it. He started asking where I got this wallet from, but it was so evil I couldn't explain the situation. That made this guy think I was the thief. He pulled me into the car and drove me to the police station. Why did all this nonsense happen on this particular day? as if it was all on purpose. In addition, at that police station, the investigator asked me for a long time where I stole the wallet and what else did I steal. I didn't feel like everyone was blaming me. I just wanted to help. This silence was already weighing on me. Without receiving an answer from me, the investigator put me behind bars for a day until the circumstances were clarified. With me in the room sat two more men. One of them was bald and had tattoos, and the other was dressed in biker clothes. They may have been jailed for hooliganism. They asked me why I was locked up in prison, but I couldn't answer them. This made them look at me angrily, thinking I was ignoring them. They repeated their question again, but in a rougher tone. But there was no response from me. At that moment, they were already moving toward me, their fists clenched. Out of fear, I started to wave them away and jumped into the corner. Then one of them said that I might be dumb, and they calmed down and sat down. I couldn't sleep that night. The atmosphere in the prison was very oppressive, and this silence created discomfort. And the next morning, I couldn't wait for the 24 hours to end. I counted every minute. As soon as it was 10 o'clock, I screamed. That woke up the two men in the cell. They couldn't understand what was happening. A police officer immediately approached. I started to explain that it wasn't me who stole the wallet and why I didn't say anything all this time. Everyone around me started laughing and said it was a stupid thing to do. Fortunately, I was immediately released, advised not to play such games anymore. I was glad to speak again and even seemed to feel more cheerful. As it turned out, this seemingly harmless task is not actually easy. As I walked home, I began to think about my tougher assignment for Dave. Such a stupid situation happened to me. Subscribe and see other interesting stories.